Okay, welcome to math today. Today we are going to look in our math journal again. And we are going to do page 16. So we did page 15 yesterday. Today we're doing page 16. So I'm going to make sure that I have a 16 at the bottom. Okay. Now we're just going to review how we can write a number, a three digit number, in different ways. So we're going to look at the number 573. So at the top we're going to write I, it would help if you could see it, I can write 573 in different ways. Then I'm going to skip one line and I'm going to write Standard form. And we know that when we write it in standard form, we just write it with digits. And then I'm going to underline standard form. Just lightly with a blue, I think. Just give it a little bit of color. So standard form is 573. Now I'm going to skip a line. And we're going to write it in expanded form. Remember, expanded form is when we stretch it out. And we write the values. And you should have no problem spelling these words because these were on our spelling list. So let's underline expanded form with with a red. Now remember, expanded form is when we write the value of the digits. So we would write 500 plus the value of our seven tens is 70 plus 3. As I've been correcting work, I've noticed a lot of kids are okay with the 500 part, with the hundreds, and with the ones. But for some reason, they're forgetting to put the zero on in the tens and just putting a seven here. So remember, the value of this seven tens is 70. Okay. So this is this number in expanded form. And we write the value of the digits. Remember if I'm going too fast, you can always hit pause. Make sure your sentence here, write the value of the digits. Make sure it starts with a capital letter and it ends with a period. Now I'm going to skip another line. And the next form we're going to write is picture or block form. They mean the same thing. Underline this in green. Okay. 
Now to show picture or block form, you are going to get out. I asked, I sent an email and asked everybody to keep this. So page 100 from yesterday, we cut off the top, but on the back, we have a hundred chart. And if you already have stuff drawn in here, that's okay. You can add to it or you can erase it and try it again, okay? Now the one I'm actually going to write on is black and white, but it's the same as yours. And again, this is page 99. You turn over page 100, you're going to get this page 99. And what I'm going to do is cut out this 100 chart. Again, this is page 99 in your Go Math book. Now, if you accidentally threw away page 99, you can go to the Go Math, the ebook that's in my library in Think Central, and you can print one of these. Print another page 99. Now before I glue anything in, I'm first going to draw. It's hard to write over something that's glued on. So we need to draw five hundreds in here, seven tens, and three ones. And I'm just going to write five hundreds, seven tens, and three ones up at the top. I have some little stencils, but if you don't have stencils, that's okay. Just draw the best square that you can. Okay, so there are my five hundreds. And then my seven tens, watch this, what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to use one side of my stencil and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for my three ones, you can just draw little teeny tiny squares for your ones, or you can just draw little circles. Now the base 10 blocks I have here at school are yellow. So I'm just going to color these yellow. Maybe I'll just trace over my tens with yellow. Can color in my little ones. And there I have 573 in picture or block form. So I'm going to take my glue stick.
glue that right in. Just gonna line it up with that red line there on the edge. Then below that, I'm gonna write this in hundreds, tens, and ones. And we we already talked about that a little, but I would just write five hundreds. seven tens, put a comma between these, and three ones. Underline that in, I don't know, purple maybe, just a light line of purple. And then finally, the last way is word form. So we're gonna write word, skip a line, write word form. Okay. Just gonna underline that. And that's where I just write everything with words. And these are your spelling words also. So you shouldn't have any trouble. So I need to write 500. And I write it just the way that I say it. When I say this number, I say 573. So I'm going to say 500. And then 70 dash 3. So this was just a quick review of all the different ways that we can write a number. I hope you have a good math day. I'll see you later.